types of computer viruses the different types of computer viruses could be classified on the basis of origin techniques types of files they infect where they hide the kind of damage they cause and the type of operating system or platform they attack etc let us have a look at them one by one overwrite viruses virus of this kind is characterized by the fact that it deletes the information contained in the files that it infects rendering them partially or totally useless once they have been infected the only way to clean a file infected by an overwrite virus is to delete the file completely thus losing the original content examples of this virus include way trj.reboot trivial.88.d boot virus this type of virus affects the boot sector of a hard disk this is a crucial part of a disk in which information on the disk itself is stored together with a program that makes it possible to boot or start the computer from the disk the best way of avoiding boot viruses is to ensure that you have a strong antivirus program in your computer examples of boot viruses include polyboot.b anti-exe macros virus macros viruses infect files that are created using certain applications or programs that contain macros macros make it possible to automate series of operations so that they are performed as a single action thereby saving the user from having to carry them out one by one such mini programs are the target of macro virus examples of macro viruses relax melissa.a bablas O ninety seven M slash Y two K Directory Virus Directory Virus change the paths that indicate the location of a file by executing a program file with the extension dot exe or dot com which has been infected by a virus, you are unknowingly running the virus program. while the original file and program have been previously moved by the virus once infected it becomes impossible to locate the original files file infectors this type of virus infects programs or executable files files with an .exe or .com extension when one of these programs is run directly or indirectly the virus is activated producing the damaging effects it is programmed to carry out the majority of existing viruses belongs to this category and can be classified depending on the actions that they carry out malware Malware is used as a single term to refer to virus, spyware, worm, etc. Malware is designed to cause damage to a stand-alone computer or a networked PC. So, wherever a malware term is used, it means a program which is designed to damage your computer. It may be a virus, worm, or trojan. spyware spyware is a type of program that is installed with or without your permission on your personal computers to collect information about users their computers or browsing habits tracks each and everything that you do without your knowledge and send it to remote user it also can download other malicious programs from internet and install it on the computer worms 
A worm is a program very similar to a virus. It has the ability to self-replicate and can lead to negative effects on your system. Mostly worms are detected and eliminated by antiviruses. Examples of worms include pswbugbear.b, lovegate.f, trial.c, sobig.d, mapson, sweeper. Sweeper is a fake antivirus program, also known as a rogue. Virus sweeper typically enters a computer system in one of two possible ways. Either the computer user downloaded virus sweeper, thinking that it was a real antivirus program, or virus sweeper was installed through a trojan. Virus sweeper is difficult to detect and remove. Trojans or Trojan horses. Another unsavory breed of malicious code are Trojans or Trojan horses which, unlike viruses, do not reproduce by infecting other files, nor do they self-replicate like worms. They are programs that seem to be useful, but they are having malicious code hidden in them. No more. Computer network should be protected from the access of unauthorized persons. Logic bombs. They are not considered viruses because they do not replicate. They are not even programs in their own right, but rather camouflaged segments of other programs. Their objective is to destroy data on the computer once certain conditions have been met. Logic bombs go undetected until launched and the results can be destructive. 